Welcome back. Around the country today, the deadly shooting of a black man by police is sparking protests in a Minneapolis suburb. The incident happened just miles from where the Derek Chauvin trial is taking place. Fox's CJ Papa has the story. Protests erupting in a Minneapolis suburb following Sunday's deadly shooting of 20-year-old Dante Wright by a police officer. Wright's mother recalling the last time she spoke with her son. He called me at about 1.40, said he was getting pulled over by the police. And I said, well, why did you get pulled over? He said he had, they pulled him over because he had air fresheners hanging from the rear mirror. Officers say Wright was wanted for an outstanding warrant. Police tried taking him into custody during a traffic stop in Brooklyn Center, but Wright got back into his car. That's when police say an officer fired his gun. Wright drove several blocks before he crashed into another vehicle and was declared dead at the scene. Medical resources were then deployed to uh, the scene uh, to aid the people in both the vehicle that was crashed into and the original group. Protesters gathered Sunday evening and marched toward the police department. Authorities say rocks and other objects were thrown at officers. About 20 businesses were also damaged at a local mall. The Minnesota Department of Public Safety says National Guard members were activated. There were reports of uh, crowds 100 to 200 uh, that were marching toward the Brooklyn Center Police Department, um, as we understand it. Sunday's shooting comes as Minneapolis remains on edge from the trial of Derek Chauvin, the former Minneapolis police officer charged with killing George Floyd. That trial continues today with its third week of testimony. Authorities say Brooklyn Center officers have body-worn cameras. They also believe dash cameras were activated during Sunday's shooting. C.J. Papa, Fox News. In a press conference held just about an hour ago, the mayor of Brooklyn Center and the police chief played the body cam footage from that shooting. The police chief is now calling this an accidental discharge, saying the officer took out a gun instead of a taser.